and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is Space Engineers. Uh, for those that may not know, you can consider this game sort of akin to a space Minecraft. As you can see, I've played around a bit before, but uh, I'm going to make a new world for the purpose of this. I'm going to make it on the asteroid setting. I'm going to set it to 16 asteroids. I'm going to leave the environmental hostility at safe because I don't really want any meteor showers at the moment. I can adjust this later. I'm leaving it to offline. As far as I know, almost every single setting here is adjustable after you've already started the game. I'm changing the speeds of welding and grinding and whatnot to a higher value. Uh, I'm going to set the world to 50 kilometers. That should be good enough. Assuming that's 25 in each direction. Uh, I'm going to leave the cooldowns as they are, but I'm going to try to avoid using any of the extra ships. Disabling the permanent death, which is when this will most importantly come into play. I'm going to enable random cargo ship spawns. I'm going to disable the delete respawn ship. Not that it's going to matter. I'm going to disable the auto healing. And these shouldn't really be necessary. I may turn this on later if it seems like things are getting a bit bad as we've played the game and whatnot. But in the meantime, this is the settings I'm going to go with. And I'm going to call this Asteroid LP. Now, creating a world is going to take a decently long period of time. So I will resume with you once that is accomplished. Okay, you may be wondering why I'm not in game. I want you to take note of the version number down here. Uh, as of this current exact patch, which fixes like uh, specifically, I can't really show you, they fixed missiles exploding immediately after being fired, but uh, unfortunately, Asteroids doesn't spawn now. So, it's actually really annoying. I don't want the easy start. Uh, I wanted Asteroids, and well, Empty World is obviously completely useless to me at the moment. Uh, I don't know if there's any scenarios available. Uh, we're gonna go with Lone Survivor. I didn't really want to, but this is what I'm gonna have to go with. I could, if I really, really tried, probably get it to function almost like uh, Asteroid, but I'm just gonna work with what I'm given in this case. So it shouldn't really be a big deal, I hope. I'm wondering how well this is going to create. Well, I guess I'm not playing Asteroids, though. It's disappointing because I like Asteroids. I don't know if I showed this before. I have no mods. I may put mods in in the future, but I don't plan to. Uh, hopefully this should actually work. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to take a little bit, so I guess once again, I'll be back. And here we are. The I suppose this evens itself out because I start with roughly the same as I would. Let's just clear this out. Uh, in order to get to this screen, you press G, and I'm going to place my tools on my bars. Those three tools are always going to be in those three slots for me. This is roughly the same as you get if you start out in the ship. Uh, I would argue you actually get a few less things. And Man, this platform is dark. Weird. But, so, one of the first things I'm going to do... So I'm going to adjust this platform to suit my needs. Now, there's a lot of what I would consider to be unnecessary things here. And by unnecessary, I mean like these landing gear and stuff. I don't really need these, and I don't really want them. And then to top it off, the uh... Okay. 
My jetpack was off. This is a bit deep in a few places, so I'm actually going to look to change that. I want the platform to be one thick and I'm going to recover as many steel plates as I possibly can. And I'm actually really happy with some of the changes they made in this. Th this game is early access. It's not actually even a, a technical full release yet, and they're making a lot of progress and a lot of changes with every patch. And I would have to say a lot of it's all good. Oh, I'm full. Well, those steel plates are gone. Gravity generator just made sure of that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is there a cargo container? I don't think there is. Assembler, small reactor, and refinery. No. So I'm going to have to place those in there. You know... Mm, hmm. Perhaps the start is actually slightly harder than the other one because I don't have access to a cargo container. But I'm hoping that, well, preferably a business shipping, because it'll be the easiest cargo ship to hijack, will come through, and I should probably provide a warning now. This episode is going to most likely be an hour long. I decided that while I was waiting for the world to create, and yeah. Did it actually spawn all the asteroids I wanted? Yeah, there's a lot of asteroids. So, as you can see here, this is what I was talking about with this being too thick. Well, actually, in some places it's three. But in the end, I'm going to make it one, and then I'm going to probably readjust and move things according to how I want them to be. Because. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the positioning of the refinery and whatnot, and I don't really need the gravity generator. I could probably make better use of the gravity generator by tearing it down and converting it to a spherical one, but that depends on whether or not I feel like mining. Okay, we've got a private sale. Uh, I'm likely to get killed going after this, but, stop, but I want it, that, that's the short version of the story, I'm likely to get killed going after it, but I want it, I got quite a bit of motors, uh, I'm gonna sit down in this control seat, and my energy over there on the left side, that's the closest this game has to food. I'm gonna let that fill up. I emptied my inventory of anything important. And I'm going to turn off my inertial dampeners. Speed myself up to max speed. One benefit to this start though is that there is a beacon, so I don't throw out getting lost. But, I mean, I had one set up before on my asteroid worlds because I had harvested, I literally harvested the entirety of the starting ship, but I don't have the ability to make any thrusters or anything right now, so my only option is to try and get out to this private sail by floating, more or less. So once I get to... Probably here. I'm going to let my dampers kick in and I'm going to readjust my course. I want to get in front of this. And then I need. I don't really have a good way of determining which side the gun is on. And knowing which side the gun is on is actually a very important feature to know because obviously then I can avoid it. Okay, it's going this way.
Where's the gun? I should be able to get a grasp on where the gun is once I get a little bit closer because it should start projecting its green targeting laser. Where's the gun? Maybe it can't see me? That would be ideal. Okay, maybe... I could have swore there was a gun on this. So, what I need to do is I need to safely get around to the very back. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna go through down here. Oh god, there's a gun on both sides. Hmm. This is what I was talking about. I could oops. I could spawn in other things, but I'm going to spawn in my spacesuit. I I really want to get this private sale. And so I'm likely to end up I have a better idea, but honestly I think I don't know if they changed the ships. I didn't see anything in the change log about them changing the loadouts of the cargo ships. So I'm just going to have to take a slightly different approach to actually getting onto this private sail. I can get up to it from the front with almost no contestion. Contestion. No like no contest, nothing fighting me, nothing trying to kill me. So I can work from that pretty easily. Just need to get to the front of it again. reverse thrust with dampeners off to mostly match its speed slowly close in upon it pull out my grinder so this is the cargo container which is slightly in my way actually Where's the gun? Okay. I seem to have managed to avoid the guns for the moment. I'm going to cut straight down. Oh, there's the beacon. Uh, you. Oh, that's a thruster. I can't go through that. I have to be slightly careful about where I cut because I don't want to make any major mistakes. Like this, I don't want to actually tear down the thruster. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll rip down the beacon. So, these are actually access denied to me. But what I can do is if I, in most cases, if I take them down past the blue, this should give me access to it now. Yes, and now I can throw these in here because I don't want to lose anything. of the way and now this guy I'm just going to I don't know if I can access it from this side I'm pretty sure I can't so I'm gonna tear it down the whole way I'm gonna it was the control station and face it that way I'm going to rebuild it this will give me control of the ship. I won't have fine tuned control of specific things, but I can still activate the thrusters and whatnot. There we go. So now I'm going to turn on the dampeners. 
It'll bring the ship to a halt. Now I'm gonna have to cut my way out so I can take out the guns, but that shouldn't end up being a huge issue. Why does it look like we're going set? We are going set. Why is this? Did I accidentally not complete that thruster? That's a problem. Okay. The solution to that problem is to just rotate the ship. Now I'm going to try and get this to roughly about a thousand meters from the platform. Uh, that way it should be outside of gun range. Well, I wonder if when I fix that thruster, maybe the gun shot it was considered unfriendly? Hmm, not sure. But, there's plenty enough parts on this to get me started in any kind of stupid I want to do, so... Actually, park it on this side of the asteroid and it shouldn't cause any issues. Because it can't actually see my platform, so it can't target it right now. Get it to about. Oops. I break anything. Doesn't appear so. Okay. So. The guns are out there. This is in my way. So if I'm right. Okay, good. So. Excuse me, still can this is no longer connected, because it's essentially floating in space now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it just fixed enough, where I can access its inventory and pull out the, the bullets. And then there should be one other one on this side. And I've also made this, this ship now safe for moving over to my platform. I do not believe it has any landing gear, but it doesn't really matter. I plan to just strip it down. Uh, the solar panels are pretty much not going to do anything. Because my platform down here... I'm uh, farther away from my platform than I thought it was, but... Uh... Thruster components? Huh. It must have shot the thruster. Oh, crap. I'm on this side. Slowly flying towards the platform. Okay. Applying dampeners. Spinning the ship. Setting my camera. Fly over here towards the platform. There's enough materials on this ship to probably make just about anything that's on my platform. Crap, I just realized that I put lateral thrust. Uh, I prefer business shipments when they come through, but this should work. I might change the graphic settings. I originally turned them down because I thought the graphic settings were responsible for the slight freezes, but it's the world saves. Uh, yeah, this will do. 
Because you're unnecessary. I will break you down. I really want the cargo container, but I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do with that. Oh, 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 oh dampeners, dampeners. I can't get it yet. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all this stuff in here. I'm going to set this to disassemble anything you can get your hands on. It's being awfully slow. This is the only problem with this. I don't know why it's like this. It... Things don't show up properly, and sometimes it actually affects the speed. Uh, this can actually be fine to make iron. And that can go there. So now, one of the first things I want to do is... Well, I guess I'll... No, 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 I don't want to do that. I want... Well, I should probably get the next out of the container first. No, out, not in. communications equipment. platform was in the light, what I could do is I could actually rely on solar panels. Oh, uh-oh. That didn't quite work out as planned. Uh, one large cargo container, please. Where can I put you? I can't really put you anywhere. I can put you... Then the conveyor slot should hook in without an issue. Oh, oh. Small freeze from what I'm assuming is supposed to be the world save. Oh. Don't want to do what I'm doing right now. Don't want to do what I'm doing. Uh, I want you to just disassemble anything you can get your hands on, and I'll just place everything in the large cargo container. It might be a bit of a waste to break down everything, but I don't have the supplies available to me to make a... Oh. My inventory filled up quicker than expected. I know, that's why. Should have put this over the platform so that I could uh, make sure that if I lost anything, I end up on the platform. But you know what to say, hindsight is twenty twenty. Oh, other 
the things are flying off into space. There we go. big things about breaking everything down is raw materials are more space efficient to store than constructed items, if that makes any sense. Pretty sure I worded that as poorly as possible. space to store stuff at least, so there is that. Stealing ships though. Very efficient. Why mine when you can go f take an entire ship and break it down into the resources you're looking for? that I was doing there for a second. It's probably going to take a few ships before I'm really, like, in a good position in terms of resources to make stuff. Like, especially, I could make a lot of steel plates afterwards. That much I already know. But... I mean, if I want to make anything extreme, like a large grinder array, which I will end up making a large grinder array. This is really no reason not to, to be honest. Plates. Hey. Outside the gravity field. What is this? Speaking of gravity, maybe I should just turn it off and serve you. Serving fuel. Okay, there. I was gonna say there should be a small reactor on here somewhere. The business shipments are better because they actually have a large reactor and an assembler and whatnot. But the large reactor normally has a lot of. Roughly like 30 units of uranium. Uh, this probably only has like maybe 10 or so. Oh. Batteries are really heavy. Oh, my suit power is getting low. Do, 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 do. I keep a very large eye on my energy. Uh, okay, the military mine layer right there, that's one of the ships that I eventually want to work towards. But actually getting a mine layer intact, it, intact is going to be a really large accomplishment because, as the name says, mine layer. But if you try and use, say rockets or something to shoot off their guns, you run the risk of exploding warheads that are positioned inside of it. And the warheads are positioned in a way where it's designed so if you explode one, the whole ship will go. And it's also booby trapped in a way where if you apply reverse thrust without removing the offending thruster or disabling it, you will blow up the whole ship. So, yeah. Fun. But I do kind of want to make, like, a little base thing. And I'll probably make a mining ship because I want to... Sorry, trying to think and monitor my way at the same time. I want to actually 
end up building inside of an asteroid, I'll probably do some surveying to figure out which one's the biggest or maybe most convenient to build in, but probably biggest, and then work from there. But I'm gonna have a decent bit of resources after I deal with all these. And these are large batteries, so... Yeah. Really heavy. But, along with being really heavy, there's a pretty decent value of resources in them. I'm not entirely sure, but once we're done here, I should have plenty of... Well, I should have plenty of everything, and I should be able to start getting building on about anything I want. Uh, yeah. I have to break this down, and then rebuild it. Yep. Yeah. 9.97, so basically there was 10 in there, but some of it got used. But there's only about 0 0.2 over here, I think. Probably less than that now in this reactor uh, yeah I'm running out of power I'm running out of uranium fairly quickly because certain items take more power to break down uh, 17 hours that's real world time so I have a lot of time on the uranium now so that will tie me over till I can at least whoops so I can at least get something like a business shipment, or like a, a mining carriage. Maybe it's not a carriage, it might be the hauler. But the mining ships, it's a lot better if I have some sort of, like, fortified ship. Like, with those, I can easily take them with a small ship. The military ships are near impossible with a small ship, or at least not without some serious design, and it's... The amount of work it would take to design something that could deal with it is not really worth it for a small ship. Uh, because they have rockets. Although they've fixed it so rockets will not destroy things behind bl other blocks if the block that got hit absorbed the blast. So. Whoops. Well, that's a silly way to die. Uh, I want to spawn in my medical room, please. You know, oh, oh, there you go. wow, hyper accelerated. Uh, if I really, really cared, I could actually retrieve my welder and stuff from that, and then I could actually break those down as well. But it's the resource requirements are negligible for that, and it's, they're not requirements. The resource gains from that are negligible and not really worth it. Oh. I might just destroy that asteroid entirely, because it's blocking the sun. Okay, I uh, well, for about half an hour now actually, but I want to have a look. Like that looks decently sized there. The one one we're on now is actually kind of small. That one should be fairly large. Uh, seems like these solid ones. Oh, where am I going? Like that one right there. They're probably the best candidates. Eh. It's not as big as I was hoping. Uh, let's just go check this one real quick, because this one's also in the sun, so I can make fairly decent use of it. Because I want to avoid using uranium, because uranium's also used for... Uh, rockets. You need uranium and magnesium and I think iron for rockets. Uh, what would you say? Would you say this one's probably the largest of the bunch? 
looks pretty good to me. I think it probably is. And it's also in the sun, so that's two positives. Whereas this asteroid down here is actually kind of meh. suit color right now. Apparently black. I can live with this. Or oh, can I? I'm gonna go with a faded green. It'd be simpler if I was in the sun. color I'm looking for. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 what have I done? Ow. I almost killed myself with fall damage. I can actually reduce the impact of that while also conserving power, which, once I heal up here, I'm actually gonna look into. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, control panel. So the gravity generator field width. I'm gonna go with. Let's go with 50, 50, 50. An acceleration of not negative G's. Point two. If I draw up from say here, what does this do for me? Huh, good. So let me see, what did that do for the power? That reduced the power requirements by, it was actually at max settings before, so it was at 567.13 kilowatts, now it's at 36.57. So with that said, that has increased our fuel time to 10 days, but I'm not entirely sure, is this? You're not done. Are you for some odd reason? Why are you not pulling from this? Can I put things in manually? Yes. I only have one assembler, so I don't need cooperative mode. Why are you being odd? Oh, because this is disabled. No, no, it's still being a bit odd. It should be pulling directly from this cargo container, but it's not. Uh, I want to... We'll actually set you to assembling. Enable. Oh, okay. You can click it easily there. I want to make a small cargo container. Uh, I'll just stop that because I I can get. Oops. I can get my 40 from here. And I want a small cargo container. I'm assuming. If I attach this... What? Interesting concept. Uh, I'll put it in here. If I access the small cargo container, I'll switch this over. Go to here. Is it... 
going to pull now. Oops. Doesn't. Well, actually, it won't pull now because I didn't have it on the mode for that, but. Why are you not doing what you're supposed to be doing? This worked previously. Well, that's unfortunate. Do I need a conveyor system? Like an actual conveyor for this to start working properly, or what? You, sir, are not really necessary to me anymore. Seventeen hours, I, I can live with that. Military escorts still can't do anything with the military ships, so not a whole lot I can do there. Uh why are you going so slow? I have eleven of them. Breaking down. Nothing. What? It's breaking down the steel plates extremely slowly. I'm gonna actually pull them out into here. That should make things. A bit better, I hope. Busted through that stuff pretty quickly. Uh, what about power cells? You're gonna do those first, and you're actually gonna do them fairly quick. Let's just do many of the power cells as we can first. I'm kind of annoyed that this isn't pulling. Why is it not pulling? Well, there's no thrusters. There's no need for dampeners on the control station. I realize there's no point disabling that, but... Uh, I actually want you to be... 23. Now, let's go for an even... 4 kilowatts of power usage. So I want to make a battery powered ship, but the problem is, is it, like, batteries take forever to charge, and the only way I can really think of of actually properly charging a ship would be to essentially, like, I don't know if you can power a ship via a connector, but I, for some odd reason I can't connect large ships and small ships via connectors because they're different sizes. And, I don't know, it's things I can fight with in the future, I suppose. Don't have a whole lot of magnesium. Like, that's not even enough magnesium for one rocket, but 
Nah. Still just a military escort. You know, I would have killed for this to be in the light, but what are you gonna do? This is the only downside now, is I'm in a constant state of waiting. Where I'm just waiting for things to break down, or waiting for another ship to come through. I do kind of want to move things. Uh, I'll move the bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. Actually typing bacon will not get you a beacon, by the way. Disappointing, but not entirely unexpected. So it's just going to be named beacon now once it's actually placed. And I'm going to have to readjust the size again. I don't think this has a control panel. I think I have to access it through another device. Bacon or kilowatts? that large cargo container in a bad place. I'll just move all this stuff over this direction. Uh, you can go there. For now. I don't really need the refinery at the moment anyhow, because I'm not mining. Because most of my resources are coming from hijacking stuff from other ships. And I've actually got, like, a fairly decent amount of everything now. Like... Oh. On the topic of decent number of everything. Oh, crap. Crap. I've made a slight boop. -boop. <laughs> that slight boo boo, of course, being that uh, these are no longer connected. Okay, it doesn't deal well with plates. I don't understand why. And then those can stay as they are. I do kind of want to make a small cargo container that I can like stash plates and stuff in. So the large cargo container doesn't have the use conveyor system option, so. I don't understand, to be honest. But this is what I was talking about, like, I've spent all this time breaking down all those heavy resources, and then I end up with a much lighter collection of resources here. I need... something. I don't need these. Okay. 
Uh, yes, I can continue this that I never finished working on. Being a bit quiet, but I'm not really doing much to be honest. I'm just kind of cutting down these blocks. Okay, is that everything? Yes. See, now I'm going to fill in this hole, and this will give me a nice flat platform to work with. in, but... Meh. I wonder how many steel plates I have on me. But, the reason why, like, ships are more useful for getting towards things is, like, I've tried tons of iterations of ships to try and get near the military ones using small ships, and it almost never works. And the reasoning behind why was partly the missile thing that they fixed, but like, I've, I've continuously tried using the decoys. The decoys work really well for regular ships, but they don't work very well for well, they work for military ships, ships, but I think a large ship is required to get the most out of it. If that makes any sense. And I have an idea for, like, a setup to even get to one. Making a large ship it takes time, it takes resources. And resources is something I don't have at this very second. And time is something I didn't spend enough of trying to basically check for, uh, you know, different plans. Like, I have an idea in my head for how I'm going to deal with it. It's just a matter of getting there. And I think... What is it? take to actually make a new large ship. I need steel plate. That is not steel plates. Okay. New large ship. I, I think I'm gonna like get it started so I at least know what my aspirations are. So the plan is going to be, I'm going to start with the base platform, which I'm going to start with a 3x3. Three three. Then, uh, up here this way, I'm going to want this to branch out to probably a 7x7. Seven seven. Yeah. So, so this will come out to a 7x7, seven seven, and I'm going to need welders for this. Uh, oh, I can actually put this on here pretty well. I'm going to put it like this, because I want to. And then there's going to be a space. What is the construction component? Is the base item for it? So basically, what's going to happen is then in the center. Actually, no. No, I want this more forwards because I also want to. 
directly in front of these welders is where the uh, the wall is going to be. But what's going to happen is I'm going to have another set of welders up above. And eventually I'm going to feed steel plates into every single one of these at a constant rate. Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use heavy armor blocks. And these are what's going to take a metric ton of steel plates. There's no getting around that. And then what I think I might do is I need to rotate this guy. I'm going to do the same thing sideways as well. Those will get theirs from the back, so that shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure you see what I'm... You might grasp what I'm going for at this point. Basically, what I'm looking to accomplish with this... Is... A series... Like, a part of the ship... That is just decked out in heavy armor with a decoy block... And that decoy block is going to basically hold it all together. Not hold it all together, but... The decoy block forces enemy ships to fire upon it. Instead of firing upon the more, how should I say, weaker parts of the ship. You give it something to attack... So it leaves the parts of your ship you want to remain intact, like, unscathed. So the point, the goal here is, uh, I'm going to direct fire at a series of heavy armor plates, and then have a, you know, have all my welders that are going to sit there and... They're going to, with a constant influx of light armor, or with steel plates, they're going to constantly repair the building. Now, welders, I believe, do a 3x3. Three three. So, it's like, certain blocks should get a double up. But, what I'm going to... Uh, I also want the sides repaired in case it gets slammed from the side. Which is a likely possibility. Uh, this is probably all the welders I'm going to run, which is... What, six... Ten? Ten welders? This should be all I actually need for this. I feel like... Something's missing. Oh, no. It, it, it won't be missing once I actually have everything I need in place. But it's going to take a lot of resources to actually build this. But the front of this is the most important part. It needs to be all heavy armor, which is going to cost thousands of steel plates. I mean, look at how much each one of these costs. It's 150 steel plates per block. Which means that I've got enough steel plates to make like 10 of them at the moment. But beyond that, the rest of the ship could probably be made out of, like, light armor. Although I'm likely to have some more heavy armor coating the sides just as an emergency precaution. Oh look, another military mine layer. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do, because we're pretty much to the stopping point now. I'm gonna continue to go through and maybe, like, readjust the platform. Uh, the next quote-unquote episode is... It, it's... I'm probably gonna wait till, like, maybe a business shipment comes through, because you've seen me tear down a private sale already. You've seen me attack one and whatnot. So, I'll probably pick it back up if a business shipment comes through. 
I'm not sure if I can get to like a commercial freighter or a mining hauler, but I can try. Uh, I could actually make a small ship to make attacking easier. And I might actually, yeah, I think I'll pick up there next time. But for now, I'm going to call this good. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.